visits a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the knife, and I can feel the sun. I have been putting off making this video for a week. I really don't want to do this. There are a million and one things I would rather be doing. My house is a mess, my kitchen's dirty, I haven't meal planned, my room's a mess. There's just a million things I need to do and would rather do, but I've decided today's the day. We're just gonna set everything else aside that needs to be done and we're going to tackle Eric's room. Future Shannon here. It's nighttime now. I've been at this probably for three, four hours. Something amazing happened. I went from being completely unmotivated to flipping a switch. I don't know what it was, but I was getting rid of stuff. I was making decisions, which was very hard for me sometimes. And we got it done. Very excited. I'm very motivated now. So stay tuned and watch the magic happen. I've got my go-go juice, so I'm gonna enjoy this and then get to work. Now y'all can see why I've been putting it off. The things that are motivating me right now are this cup of coffee, the idea of what it will feel like once it's done, the amount of peace it'll bring, but also how much time it's gonna save me in the future. It, the quantity is gonna be so much less. The amount of laundry that's gonna be less. So in the long run, while this is gonna take me some time, in the end, my hope is to gain so much more time to focus on other things that I want to do. So this is just gonna be one of those necessary evils. I'm so thankful that y'all are coming along with me. I hope y'all find motivation too. Maybe we can work through our homes together. Leave comments down below what room you worked in and also follow me on Instagram. I'll post pictures there as well of updates and whatnot. All right, you and me together. I chose to start in Eric's room because in theory, this is the easiest room. It looks worse than what it really is. So it's just mostly clothes and a little bit of tidying up. And I figured if I start here, or hopefully that will domino me into other rooms. I think next to packing for a move, going through kids clothes is right there with it on jobs I least like to do. I'm so glad I finally forced myself to sit down and do this because it felt so good. So if you are struggling to declutter your home, my advice is to just get going. Just give yourself 15 minutes to start cleaning, tidying, going through stuff, and see how you feel at the end of that 15 minutes and see if you don't just keep going. Now we're going to start on the clothes. I'd be willing to guess that probably 1% of this actually fits him. I've got my trash bags for hopefully lots of giveaway. Probably need more than that. And we're going to start first by dumping this out. Where should we go here? Ah, I don't know. Should I do this? No, because I'm putting these back in the closet with hats and gloves and accessory type things for him and stuff that he still needs to grow into. So we're gonna do these first so we can empty them out. It's been decided. I just decided I'm gonna go for it all at once. Well, that was a workout. Look at all these clothes. That is like an 18 inch by 18 inch basket. On top of all these clothes and down here, which I believe these are the new sizes. I've got his closet cleaned out of his clothes. And I see why now Marie Kondo 
says take it one category at a time because there is so much more than just clothes in here and I would get totally overwhelmed. So I have like old clothes here, like bridesmaid dresses. I have my cap and gown over here. I have stuff I haven't seen in forever that I didn't even know was up here. And then I have some sentimental items like my blanket from when I was a kid, all my kids first Halloween costume, and then some keepsake clothes that I keep for sentimental reasons. And then I have some linens that I didn't even know were up here. This isn't even where they go. So we're gonna take on the clothes and make that our focus for now. This also includes all the clothes that were in his dresser and there were quite a bit. And then I'm gonna save his shoes. I do need to go through his shoes so I may do that next. What do you do to help motivate yourself to clean or do chores around the house? Is it some good music? Is it what it feels like after it's completed? Like what gets you motivated and going? You stole my heart, what is it that you do? I was so excited when I found this. I remember when I bought it. I can't believe I completely forgot about this. I, does that happen to you guys? He's gonna be so excited when he sees it and thank goodness he's just getting into 4D. I mean, we could have missed out on that. If you want to help keep me motivated, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you can also hit the bell notification while you're there so you get notified every time I upload a video to my decluttering series. I'm going to be taking you through my entire house and I plan to make you feel real good about the messes in your homes and help motivate you to tackle those as I tackle mine. Okay, we have this pile of everything that for sure, for sure doesn't fit or that we're getting rid of. Those are clothes I found that were not his, trash. This is our size three pile. And then here's our 4T pile. And here's our 5'6 pile. My friend was getting rid of a whole bunch of 5'6 clothes for super, super cheap. And so I just bought the whole lot. So I'm saving those for him. Can't ever pass up a good deal. So now I've got to go through and see what sparks joy. I went ahead and went through the three pile. Just kept the winter stuff since he's almost outgrown it. Kept a few short sleeves. All the long sleeves and sweaters pretty much. And surprisingly this was the only pants I found. I thought he had more pants than that. And that's the only pajama I found. For the 4T clothes, all I'm doing is sorting those, summer, winter, pajamas, so on. And we will put the summer clothes away for a couple more months. And finally, I just have to stick these 5T and 6T clothes in this storage bucket. I don't have to do anything else with them. I can save those for when we change into them. I know what it is you do I just wanna love you, I just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Just tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day You set my world on fire myself in 2021 is less stress and that has been another motivating factor for this decluttering series I know that as I eliminate all this mess and all these extra clothes and all these things that we don't need 
I'm gonna feel so much better and so much lighter. The world could be blowing up around me, but if my house is clean, I can. I feel like I can take on the world. I don't know what it is about a clean house, but it just does something for my stress level. I can't help that this sweet talk. So he is all set on shoes. We don't really go anywhere, so they just stay in here. These are all missing their match. So I'm just gonna leave them here because I have a feeling once I hit up the girls' room and the playroom, the rest will turn up and then I can give these away or put them away. These are gone forever. I will never have to wash these again. I will never have to fold these again. They are off to a better home. I'll never have to touch them again. That makes me so happy. I'm so thrilled to be done with this room. We'll come back and declutter a little bit more in the series. But for now, the room is clean and clothes are done. Next episode, we are tackling the girls' bedroom. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll see you next Monday. Bye now.